need to draw this vertical line now. Uh, the equation of the vertical line was x equals to negative 2. Notice we cannot use this explicit on this because we already have y is equal to. Uh, so what you have to do is go to implicit, which is f3, and now type in uh, it was uh, x equals to negative 2. Uh, and I don't have any, and of course, pen width to 5. I have no control over my range on this. You see how there's no. So if I draw that, I get this uh, line that, is, which is too long. The segment line segment is too long. So uh, to avoid that, uh, there's a little trick that you need to do. Uh, let me show you what to do right now. Notice if I, first, if I zoom out by hitting page down, notice it only drew that vertical line within that window that we were seeing. So that gave me an idea. So to do that, you delete this. I want to zoom in within these uh, uh, window. I want my window to be just showing this height from 4 to 1. So to do that, go to view, click view, and you're going to do uh, for down and up. For down, I want it at 1 which is my range, right? My range goes from 1 to 4. So you basically are putting your range 1 to 4. And if you click Apply, look what happens. Nothing. Uh, wait. Oh, I got to click that corners. Sorry. So I got to go um, down is 1, up is 4. Yeah, you need to sit, click set corners, otherwise it won't do it. And click that. Now notice my window, is it only shows my range. And now what I'm going to do is draw that implicit vertical line using implicit and click um, x equals to negative 2 and you will now only draw the vertical line within this range so pen width to be 5 see that and now I want to go back to what it now the the ratios of x and y axis is different than before so click home on your keyboard of course you have to select the window first click home on your keyboard and it goes back to what we um, had before. So there it is. Now notice it doesn't go outside, right? It doesn't, the range, it, it goes from 1 to 4. So you are, you were able to fit that uh, vertical line because there isn't any control for you to do that for vertical lines other than using that view and click set corners and uh, putting your range here, okay? Um, another thing that you have to be careful when you do the project is go to the, um, when you're inputting here, this shows you all your equations. Uh, now some of you may be putting in more equations. Uh, sometimes it won't let you put in more equations that you want. It's because you have to go to equations and click size and inventory. It's by default, I think it's 36. So if you want to put 37th equation, it will stop you from doing that. So you have to increase that if you're going to put more. So put like 50 here. And now you can put 50 equations if you want to do your project. Okay, I hope this helps.